All right, let's begin by creating a brand new project. For generating a new project and its features, we will be making use of Angular CLI. To be more specific, Angular CLI version 6 or higher. In the command prompt, I'm going to run the command ng-v and this gives the version of CLI installed in my machine. You can see that it is 6.0.0. .0. Now you guys might not have CLI installed at all. In that case, in the command prompt, run the command npm install dash g at angular slash CLI at latest. This will install the latest version of CLI on your machine. But some of you might have CLI installed and not the latest version. You might probably have version 1.7. So what you need to do is update the version. Let's see how to do that. I'm here at the GitHub repo for Angular CLI and if you scroll down, you can find this particular paragraph. You can find the Angular CLI specific readme here. So click on that. And now if you scroll down, you should come across the table of contents where it says updating Angular CLI. Over here, there is a mention on updating the global package, which is exactly what we need. To update CLI on your machine to the latest version, run these three commands in sequence. First, uninstall, so npm uninstall dash g at angular slash CLI. Then verify the cache, npm cache verify, and then install the latest, npm install dash g at angular slash CLI at latest. Once you finish running all the commands successfully, run ng dash v in the command prompt and it should display version 6.0.0. All right, now that we have the latest CLI, let's generate the Angular project. Open Visual Studio Code and you can notice that I am inside the Angular Forms folder which I have created for this particular course. Open the integrated terminal, so control plus backtick or you can even open from view and then integrated terminal and run the command ng new followed by the project name. I'm going to call this project TDF for template driven forms. Hit enter and it should create a new project for you. Once the command is completed, navigate inside the project folder. So CD TDF and run the command ng serve dash O. We should have our application up and running. The final step is to add bootstrap styling to our project. Bootstrap is a CSS framework that gives us a variety of classes that can be applied to make our HTML look better. To add bootstrap CSS, go to getbootstrap.com and navigate to the getting started section. Scroll down to bootstrap CDN and copy just the CSS. Go back to Visual Studio Code, open index.html and add the reference at the end of the head tag. Now let's test if the bootstrap classes work. So open app.component.html and wipe out the HTML that is pre-filled. I'm going to add a button tag with the class button and button primary and the text will be submit. If bootstrap works, this should display a blue colored button. So if I go back to TDF, you can see that we have a blue colored submit button. So that is our project setup. We updated to Angular CLI version 6 generated a new project and added bootstrap styling. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.